the letters definitely spell refreshing. It's simpler than I was expecting. Well, of course it's simple. The contest was meant for kids. Oh, yeah. I forgot about that. I guess sometimes I take all of this Nuka-Cola stuff so seriously. This door should lead to Brad Burton's office, but it's locked up tight. The keypad is the only way to open it. I guess we just need to key in the ten numbers that correspond to the word refreshing. That's it! The door's unlocked! Let's go inside! Let's search carefully. I'm willing to bet this place has a few secrets, and they'll probably be well hidden. Hey, for all their talk, this gauntlet is full of more turrets and traps than actual raiders. I don't know if I should commend their ingenuity or condemn their cowardice. Hey, mind your step. In a place like this, you could step over a trap and step right through a used needle. Huh. I thought gauntlets are stuff medieval knights put on their hands. But you'd have to have an awfully big hand to put this place on. Look at that! Mr. Brad Burton, you were one sneaky devil. It's its head. Wow. Who, who are you? I haven't seen a real human face in so long. I had given up all hope. Oh my god. It's alive! He's alive! My name's Sierra, sir. I'm your biggest admirer. I love Nuka-Cola more than anything. This is such an honor. You there, with the pit boy. What are you doing here? This whole thing is Sierra's idea. She came here to solve your hidden Cappy contest. The hidden Cappy contest. It all seems so long ago. Another lifetime. That was before I became this monster. Before I was trapped here for centuries to suffer in solitude. This was General Braxton's plan all along. Damn the man. He called it Project Cobalt. In exchange for my weapon design, he would give me access to life-extending technology. I'm such a fool for taking him at his word. He never told me that this would be the price. When something sounds too good to be true, it usually is. You don't think I know that? You don't think I contemplated my folly for decades on end? I do not need some interloper to remind me of my greatest tragedy. A... Uh, a weapon? I don't believe it. Why would the genius who brought so much joy to the world want to make something destructive? Genius is restless, madam. It must expand, seek new challenges, and explore new frontiers. So yes, a weapon. It was going to be a quantum-enhanced variant of the standard portable warhead. In fact, the prototypes are stored in this very chamber. You can have them on one condition. I want you to shut off the power to this machine that's keeping me alive. I want to die. What? No! There's gotta be a better solution than killing you. That's easy for you to say. Standing there on your own two legs. Able to go where you wish and do what you want. You can't kill him. He's a great man. He invented Nuka-Cola, the best thing in the world. Lady, you don't know what a torment it is. Being trapped here alone and staring at the same wall decade after decade. I realize that what I'm asking isn't easy, but there's something in it for you. When the power is cut, 
The door to the prototype storage room will open automatically. Take anything you want. I don't care anymore. Just please. Set me free at last. I can't bear this loneliness any longer. Wait, 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 wait. I have an idea. Mr. Brad Burden wants to die because he's lonely, right? Well, maybe I could stay with him, you know? Keep him company, give him someone to talk to. He's like a hero to me. Yeah, but if I don't cut the power, then that door doesn't open, and, and I don't get my prototype ammo. I know, I know, but I have something else that I can offer you instead. At least hear me out. I've got a limited edition Nuka-Cola jumpsuit. It's really stylish, and not many were made. It's one of my most treasured possessions, but, well, I'm willing to let you have it. No deal. I want that prototype, and I'm, I'm going to get it. You, you really want to condemn one of the greatest minds of his generation to die? Even though I've offered you a better option. And just so you can get your hands on a weapon? <sighs> Guess I didn't realize you were so cold-hearted and selfish. Fine, then. Destroy one of our... our national treasures! Finally. Free at last. There we go. You wanted the Nuka-Cola formula? Here it is. So it really was here. I'm grateful, but don't think this means I've forgiven you. You killed the man who was my hero. A man who revolutionized the soft drink industry, and whose creations put smiles on a million faces. Who the hell are you to just walk in here and destroy all that? He made a choice, and I respected that choice. You should too. I... I guess so. It's just that... Never, not in my wildest dreams, did I think I'd get the chance to talk to Mr. Brad Burton in person. To get an opportunity like that, and then have it snatched away. It hit me pretty hard. Still, I can't overlook the fact that for one glorious shining moment, I got to meet the man who invented Nuka-Cola. I'll never forget that. Not ever. And it wouldn't have been possible without your... Thank you. If you really want to thank me, thank me with caps. A mercenary to the end, huh? I guess you've earned it here. I know it's not much, but you really went above and beyond the call of duty. I think I'll stick around here for a while and see what else I can find. By the time I'm done, I'm going to need a much bigger building to house my Nuka-Cola museum. Your thoughts? It was kind of you to let Mr. Brad Burton rest. Never mind not having a body. I can't imagine a fate worse than being stuck alone with Sierra. Sierra seems a little depressed. Meeting your heroes can do that. Killing them is even worse. Hey. I feel bad for Sierra, but you did what you had to do. Poor guy spent 200 years in that jar. I'll accept your offer. I won't shut the power off. Thank you, thank you, thank you! You're doing the right thing! After all, this is a great man we're talking about. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a living legend to talk to. Good luck running Nuka World! Hey, glad you didn't pull the plug. I feel like keeping this guy company is Sierra's calling in life. Any other advice? So, is this it? Just the guy's head in a jar? This is a lot more depressing than some of the other rides. Well, at least Mr. Brad Burton has someone to keep him company. Although, five minutes with that woman, and I fear he'll think otherwise. <laughs>